I would hey y'all so today we're gonna assemble the centrifugal centrifugal juicer so i ordered this off tiktok shop and i'm actually pretty excited about it because i've been wanting to get into juicing for a while this is what it looks like and yeah I want to get into it for a while, but what I did do is look ahead um, at the manual because I tend to skip the instructions and be like, I got this, but no, I want to make sure I don't break it before I'm actually able to use it. So I looked ahead and I think this is worth talking about for a second. So like the, the little booklet that comes inside, it has like recipes, recipes, um, that you can try out in the back. I already bought some um, vegetables and fruits. And I will say for what I do have in the kitchen, I don't have everything for any particular recipe back here. But I'm going to I'm gonna make something shake. Okay. Like important safeguards. Like, so say you put it together and it doesn't turn on. You probably don't have it put together properly. So I would assume me being me i would assume that i have something broke broken defective no it says the unit will not turn on unless properly assembled so and i hate the i hate to say it but yes i still have covid that's why i sound like this so forgive me um but it does have about like 14 pieces so it's nothing too crazy then you also have like the same diagram here on the box on the outside so this can't be too hard now one thing that was also important is the speed selection table so an apple for example is a little harder compared to an orange once you peel it or whatever so it does tell you like different speeds that you should juice certain fruit and vegetables on so you would do an apple on high and like something like cauliflower, surprisingly, you would juice it on low. So helpful, helpful. Cause I feel like I probably would have broke it before actually really being able to get into it. Um, I already cherish and value it. So this is why I'm taking the time to look into it. I'm just putting a little bit of VIX. Well, it's not the real VIX, but it's going to get the job done. Now, I know some people put it on their chest. I'm one of those people that will put it on your nose. And of course, every time I blow my nose, I'm wiping some of that rub off or whatever. But I feel like it works faster. So, we're going to get into this. Get it open. And I will say, even though I did read the instructions, I'm still a little apprehensive because when it comes to just putting things together, I don't do that. I get others to do it for me. I, I just don't. But I'm going to give it a try. But this is a brush. I'm assuming for cleaning purposes already. It kind of looks put together somewhat. So this may go well. It is smaller than what I was expecting from what I've been seeing on like TikTok shop. It looks larger. Maybe that's just the positioning of the camera. I can tell you right now, this is the pressure. This is what you're pushing the fruits and vegetables down with. Oh, yeah like i said i have covid again and um i don't know i got vaccinated like may of 2021 round one and two but i did not go get a booster i'm not a fan of needles so i didn't go get a booster and i probably will never go get a booster shot for that but um that's 
that's a story for another day. But as far as how 2024 is going for me, oh, there are suction, suction tabs. Love it. Cause where are you going? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I didn't even finish. As far as how 2024 is going so far, I did delete my Facebook. I've tried multiple times to go through with it, and this time I actually did, so I'm excited. I also have a therapist this time, so we're doing therapy. And then, of course, I started a YouTube channel. So, yeah. I wasn't expecting this to be that small. But maybe the benefit in it is that you can make, the, make like a cup of juice as you go. You don't have to do a picture. Or whatever even though that would be ideal now of course i i don't know if i remember correctly but i think when you juice you know you want to consume it within 24 to 48 hours or something like that so you're not missing out on the vitamins and nutrients i guess they die out over a while i don't know <laughs> so a few of my goals for the next three months would be to read more increase productivity be consistent in anything that i do and then just to celebrate my wins as i go because i don't tend to celebrate myself but i will celebrate others this juicer like within the instruction manual it also said that as far as the pulp that comes out people can use the pulp for other recipes to like make casseroles and thicken soups and stuff like that so if that's your thing yeah um, let's see what we're supposed to have celery oil celery is supposed to be on um, Flip this part. So this is what it looks like on the inside. This is what I have to clean. Okay. And then as far as what that's looking like. So now we're going to see what it tastes like. This is what it looks like. Hopefully there aren't any chunks in there. But there's some foam to it and that I don't like already. Nice color. This is gonna be interesting because I will say like when I eat wings or when I go out and get some wings, I never eat the celery. It always tastes like there's a lot of water in it when I bite into it, but I never eat the celery. Smells like celery. I would drink it before I eat it. But like I said, I can taste the water in it. And I can't sit in my pen and the foam on top. Let's see. I like it, I just don't like the foam. We gotta do something about that foam. That foam ain't gonna work for me. So, 
So I'd probably mix this with like green apples or something to add some sort of sweetener to it, I guess. So I just want to say that I also juiced some apples and the foam was still there as well as the pulp. So it's a no for me.